seven-year-old Juan and his six-year-old sister Maria are on their way to work. Every single day, the children and their mother hike for more than two hours each way to come here, to the outskirts of the city dump. They spend six or seven hours picking through endless mounds of garbage and filth in search of food to eat, as well as plastic bottles and other recyclables to sell. The small bundle strapped to their mother's back is their baby brother Hugo, just six months old. The stench is overpowering, and the work dangerous. Broken glass, medical waste, rusty metal and stagnant pools of toxic sludge. But ever since their father died in a road accident a year ago, they have no other way to survive. Mama Maria was pregnant with the baby when her husband was killed. I was left with the children, and well now, I'm really feeling it more. As time goes on, I see how much my children need. Sometimes they say, it's okay, mommy, we're going to help. We gather what we can, we sell it and we eat it. But it's just not enough. Maria and Juan stick together. Because they're small and light, their job is to go searching far off in the deepest parts of the dump. They need to step carefully, or they could sink into rotting sludge. One bag full can go for a few cents. On a good day, they could earn a little over a dollar. Maria wears flimsy plastic shoes. One cut could mean infection, sickness, or worse. They often get sick from eating rotten food they find in the garbage. None of the children have ever been to a doctor. Sometimes we don't eat. Sometimes we do. One day we don't eat. One day we do. That's how it is. Mama Maria is tortured with guilt that her children have to live this way. I need their help. They help me look for things and we sell them. If they go to school, we can't make ends meet. That's why I haven't put them in school. As the day wears on, fog rolls in and the temperature drops dramatically. The children are cold, but hunger drives them on. Then, a lucky break. Juan finds a couple of discarded tamales. They may not be safe to eat. They could make the kids sick. But this is their only meal for the day. For now, the hunger pains subside. But what about tomorrow? I feel so sad. In the first place, I thank God for giving me my children. But I feel so sad because I can't give them what they need. No mother should be forced to raise her children like this. No child should have to work in filth and toxic waste just to survive. Won't you help change the lives of children like Juan and Maria? <laughs>